Alright, hey guys, long time no see. So, I'm gonna be doing this thing today a little different. I feel like there's such a shadow. It's from my mirror. It's from my mirror. A little different than I've done on my channel before. Um, it's an unboxing with a different type of unboxing because it's, it's gonna be kind of a two part. <laughs> I'm not explaining it right by any means. I am so dark. Can I just see my face? So it's still cute. Turn the camera this way. Hey! Okay. It is 23 and me. <laughs> Welcome to you. Um, so 23 and me is the site where you can go online and for $100 you can find out your ancestry. And for 200 bucks, you can find out your ancestry and any like diseases you're predisposed to, basically. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to register your kit, which is pretty simple. Um, you have the option to like fill out surveys about you and stuff and answer questions to help with their like their research amongst people. So uh, next you just spit into the little container and yeah. So let's get to it. It just just slides out, yo. Just slides out, yo. Woo! Alright, let's, let's let's open it up. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Come on, let's do this. Hi, let's get started. Um, you have to register your kit, 23 me, like I said, and then on the little vial there's a code that you have to write down, and that's how you register your kit. And um, you have to basically, or they won't like whatever your stuff. <laughs> you have to sign up, basically. What I'm saying. So it comes with this little thingy. Where it says, you know, register your kit. Again. Um, down at the bottom it says no photo drinks for 30 minutes, which sucks. Spit to the fill line, close funnel, decharge funnel, screw on cap. Uh, seal and bag, mail in kit. So let's get started. Let's get started, yo. Okay, um. I already registered, so I can just sit that little form aside. Here's the little bag. It's a biohazard bag. Makes it seem so serious. So serious. <laughs> um, so there's just a little cap that you screw on afterwards. This is the little thing. There's a fill to line though. I don't know if I can... Yeah, it'll be fine in the show. It's because fill to line. Just with that much, just like this much, like where my finger is. Like that much, okay? And then you'll fold this over, it'll pop, that stuff will go in there, and then you just screw this up, and then screw the cap on, and then put it back, and then mail it, and then they like said it takes like six to eight weeks, so. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is so weird. Ah, no loogies, guys, that's, that's nasty. It's okay because I over salivate, <laughs> salivate. I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> so weird. Okay, there is more than enough. It's good. It's full. There is still life in there. <laughs> okay, I feel like it's all bubbles though. Maybe more. Now you wanna. Hold it this way. <laughs> okay. And then you just wanna screw that off. And then take this cap and put it on securely and then there we go you guys that's it and you just put it back in its little container that it came with in the beginning and no I'm lying did I fool you you put it in the bag okay so peel blew off 
custom clothes. <laughs> this is awesome. Probably should have like, gotten the air out. Too late now. Okay, yeah, yeah. Spit into the funnel until the amount of liquid saliva and not bubbles reaches the fill line. Oh, I was supposed to shake it. Okay, do not remove the absorbent pad from the plastic. Okay, all it says is place the sealed plastic back into the original box. Play, peel the seal until the box closed. So I guess just put this thing in there. Just really read directions, you know? Like, just. Okay. Okay, here we go. You guys, here we go. I'm excited. I uh, will totally be doing an unboxing, or I mean, like a ancestry reveal once I get the results. But like I said, they said it could take like six to eight weeks. So I mean, it's not gonna be anytime soon, especially with me. Not like ever. <laughs> Human specimen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, there's that. Like I said, it's it's a little different. Um, I feel like most people probably would have kept it to themselves, but I, uh, yeah, yeah, totally thought I would just stop and talk about it. So. <laughs>